All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I promised a live stream today to do the giveaway for the amp pound. I've been trying to get to it all day, and uh, I've just got home from the shop. It's uh, obviously about 10 to 9. Um, I was hoping that I could get this done earlier today at the garage, but uh, we've been working on the Chevelle pretty much the entire day. And, uh, well, it is what it is. I was only able to get it done, you know, now. So, hey, what's up, George? Uh, don't expect many people to be uh, around at 9 o'clock at night on a Saturday, but um, it's all good. Uh, whoever the winner is, hey, brother, what's up, man? Uh, all right, maybe there are a few people around. Hey, Joe. <laughs> oh, hey, Scott. Merry Christmas, man. Um, hopefully, uh, what do you call it? You know, whoever the winner is uh, may have already left their email in the uh, in the comments. We'll see what happens. Uh so that's about it. And um, what do you call? It? We got the Chevelle going today, guys. A uh, lot of lot of work, long process. Uh, the video was absolutely garbage, uh, as you saw. the 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 car was so loud with the open headers that it completely dominated the uh, the microphone. Um, not sure how it sounds on a good system at home, but it was it was extremely loud. It was more obnoxious than we actually thought it was going to be. Uh, I tried to get some more video of it. I just finished getting the uh, mid-pipe on the car and a set of mufflers. So we're going to see how that video came out. I'm going to post it up later on or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it does sound wicked, man. It's it's uh, you got to hear it in person. It's mind-blowingly loud and it really thumps on your chest. So car should uh, the car should be in the nines uh, if everything goes well on motor. We'll see. Got to get it to the track after we get the tune set on it and uh, get it to learn a little bit. We'll see how it turns out. Um, so that's uh, that's going to, you know, time will tell with that. But the car, we've been working our asses off on that car. Uh, you know, it's really not not a job for me. It's a project with a friend of mine. So, we're you know, we're kind of doing, uh, he's had the car 30 years. So <laughs> I never win anything either, man. Don't feel bad. I couldn't win if it was fixed, actually. So, um yeah, but I'm glad you guys are around. Uh, I'm sure you, you know. I'm sure you guys are excited to get a an amp pound. So I have the thing sitting here. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm at my house, and you gotta you gotta excuse if you see a mess in the background here. I am working on the house. It's an absolute disaster. Uh, I got screwed with a floor that I'm waiting on. I got everything in shambles. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It's all good. So I'm gonna flip you guys around a second here. I'm gonna pop this open and uh, see if I can get this thing to work. All right, so I'm going to send some a uh, couple of cards and uh, stickers for you guys, whoever whoever wins this thing, and uh, that's going to be the item. All right, it's pretty badass, man. If you guys, uh, if you're not familiar with how to use it, I have a few videos on using this thing. Um, the instructions are obviously in here, and there's uh, the tool's fantastic. So hopefully you guys, whoever wins it, I hope you guys get a lot of use out of it like I do and you really enjoy it. So without any further ado here, I'm going to try to focus you in here on the screen. I already, I'm up at the uh, random comments generator, okay? I put the the video link in here and I went no further, okay? All I did was to find out how many unique commenters there are. There you go, there's 420, all right? And I'm going to do this live, obviously, so there's no, you know, baloney. And let's see. I don't even know how this thing actually works, guys. I've only done this once. There it is. Winner is Thomas uh, Joy. I could name, I could pronounce. That's cool. And <laughs> that's an interesting comment. He didn't want to put his uh, email because he didn't want to get a bunch of junk mail. <laughs> well, okay. Hopefully, uh, Thomas is watching and he can put his, um, he can get his email address to me. That would be good if you could put it in the comments as uh, as I asked, so I can make sure it goes to him. That's pretty cool. Congrats, Thomas, uh, if you're watching. And uh, please get in touch with me through the uh, you know through the comment section here if you can. I'd appreciate it. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and guys, what I'm going to do for you is uh, if you guys who didn't win, I do have something else here that I wanted to give to you guys. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it is, uh, I have a couple of shirts. I have uh, Joe's Auto Electric t-shirts. Some of you guys have been asking for them. I did have a couple of these made up for myself and uh, 
you know, a couple of customers and I have a few extra sitting here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to randomly pick another uh, guy on here, whoever commented on this video. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I have a large and an extra large shirt. So whoever wins, you guys can, you know, tell me which shirt will fit you. All right. So we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to do that and see uh, what do you call it? If, uh, see if at least somebody could get a shirt. OK. All right. So let's see. We will just go to pick another winner. All right. <laughs> I don't have any two X men. Uh, I don't. We'll try another guy. We'll see what happens here. And you'll get a shirt. <laughs> Big Root 70. All right. Um, so you got a T-shirt coming, buddy. I don't know your real name. Uh, hopefully you can leave a uh, an email address in the uh, comments here, and uh, or or contact me on Facebook, whatever. And uh, I'll send out a shirt, either large or extra large, to you. Sounds like <laughs> yeah. So. Those are the uh, those are the two winners, guys. Um, I really appreciate all the support, especially in the last month or so. Uh, got a lot of new subscribers, a lot of cool guys out there commenting. Hey, what's up, Bill? Uh, hey, Drew. Oh, a lot of guys down here. I know. Okay, George. Yeah, man. Uh, very, uh, very, very uh, amazed actually at the amount of support that we've been getting. I really, really appreciate it. It's real nice, of you guys. And um, we're trying to put out videos, you know, that are helpful. I mean, I don't, I don't do a lot of, uh, I don't do a lot of videos on like, you know, basic stuff, basic maintenance and things like that. Because I mean, there's, there's plenty of videos out there on that stuff. If that's what you want to learn, uh, I want to do more of the diagnostic based stuff. And I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, you know, I, I try to film what I can. I mean, I can't do everything. This week has been, this week trying to film things has been terrible. I've been getting a lot of. Uh, uh, two X or three X. Yeah, man, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> so, oh, my wife is, Hey babe, <laughs> my wife is watching. So we have a, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I try to do the videos that, uh, that I think will help people to diagnose. Um, and it's not necessarily for guys that are do it yourselfers all the time. I mean, uh, you know, maybe other techs or whatever that have the equipment, you know, if you are a do it yourself or, and you find the videos useful, I, I, you know, I'm, more than happy to help you guys i mean you know whatever works and yeah i do smoke guys so if anybody's got a uh got a problem with that just uh you know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep smoking i like it uh so anyway yeah if uh you know hopefully you guys like the videos man it is what it is it's uh you know you know uh i just try not i try not to do anything too um too much with the basic maintenance stuff, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of channels out there that have that uh, niche. And, uh, you know, I kind of do what I feel like doing, I, honestly. I mean, I try to show some uh, other type of stuff, like the rust removal videos and things like that. Hey, Mario, thanks for watching, man. Take care, brother. Um, you know, so I try to do that kind of stuff as well as the, uh, you know, as the diagnostic stuff. But... Uh, Guys, I just want to. I just want to uh, also, while I'm on here live, I just want to tell you guys, if you guys aren't watching, uh, you know, the Train by Checks channel, uh, please do. Please get involved with them, guys, and uh, please get involved with, uh, you know, guys that are on that upper level. You know what I mean? That uh, that are helping other techs and helping us to do what we do and supporting uh, supporting the training and the learning. Uh, that stuff is uh, is the utmost importance for us to continue doing the right thing for our customers and uh, even for some of you guys that just watch the channel that are, you know, trying to learn things. I mean, you know, yeah, man, um, <clears throat> need smokes to keep me calm. Yeah, not really. I don't know if they calm me down, man. I'm not a, I'm not the calmest guy in the world for anybody who knows me, but, um, you know, yeah, trained by techs. Uh, yeah, check their channel out. Uh, those guys are some of the sharpest people you'll ever uh, you'll ever encounter. Um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys know New Level. Uh, Keith is involved with them as well. Uh, so if that's an you know that should be an indication of uh, the kind of people that he, you know what I mean, is training with. Um, you're a little late. <laughs> yeah, Train by Text is great, right, man? Uh, so you know, 
watch these other guys, man. You know what I mean? You know, get in, get in, in the loop with these guys. And if you can train, train as much as you can. I mean, I, uh, I can't preach that all that much, you know, in the recent times, because I don't have the time to dedicate to training due to traveling and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I do what I can. I train at home, uh, you know, via the computer. I get on web webinars and, uh, uh, you know, I try to keep up as much as I can with things and, uh, you know, stay in my own little niche, I guess you could say. But, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're very, very proficient with scope techniques and training with scopes and stuff. I mean, Brandon Steckler, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is, is, uh, is just on the upper echelon. He's, uh, he's, you know, Oh, I almost lost you guys. I don't know what happened. Yeah, that guy's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good techs out there, guys. It's, uh, you know, I keep, I get some, I get some feedback on the channel that sometimes I just shake my head at. I mean, I get, a, you know, some guys that are talking about, uh, yeah, new, yeah, of course, new level South Main. You know, Eric is great. I mean, yeah, these guys are amazing. I mean, I can't name uh, everyone out there, but uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic channel. Eric is a top notch guy and he's, uh, he's a good dude. So absolutely, you can learn a lot from that guy. Um, what do you call the, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, yeah, no, I get I get some some people on the channel that uh, I don't know if they're just trolling or whatever, but uh, you know they have something you know silly to say about uh, you know certain things or whatever. But it is what it is. I mean, I, I don't really care that much. It's for you guys, the guys that appreciate it, that I do it. You know, uh, <laughs> you probably start smoking. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Um, you can talk what you want about smoking, but after running that Chevelle today with the E85, uh, running about uh, I don't know 12 to one. Um, on the fuel, uh, you know, the air fuel ratio, my eyes were burning out of my head and, uh, my head is spinning. So I can't, you got to forgive me if I can't even think straight right now, but, um, yeah, we got to get that thing dialed in with the tune, but it runs great. Uh, Keith. Oh yeah. Keith. Yeah. Another one. Right. Keith. Yep. The other Keith, a very good, very good guy. And, uh, the best thing about these text guys is that they're, they're, they're making a network that actually help each other so we all are you know networking together from around the it was around the country i thought now it's you know it's more around the world because you got guys like dan you know diagnosed dan who's incredible uh you got guys like um steve scott who's absolutely incredible too and these guys are you know obviously overseas so i mean it's you know it's a big uh it's a big family so to speak uh, you know, and Facebook too, guys, uh, you know, a lot of the guys are on Facebook. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's all about helping each other. It's all about networking. You know what I mean? And, and for the stuff that I do on here that guys, you know, for guys that say like, you know, oh, you know, this isn't for a do it yourself or some of this stuff isn't for a do it yourself. Or, I'm sorry. It's, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I'm trying to film stuff. Uh, you got to understand I'm trying to film stuff that, uh, I feel is interesting, uh, for the viewer, you know, for you guys, I, I, w I want it to be, you know, something you would enjoy new uh new england no no sir uh we used to race in english town uh english town is now a thing of the past and we will be at atco and island more than likely uh not sure which or when but they do track rentals down at uh down at atco and some of my good friends that we used to race together are involved in that and um i may Depending again, my schedule is kind of messed up. So depending, we'll see what happens uh, in the spring. I'd like to get down there with the Chevelle with my buddy Dave and my other friend George with his Mustang. And I'd like to get down there and play around a little bit with some of these cars. My mic's messed up. Yeah, guys, I'm using my phone. I'm really sorry. Uh, my, I, I, I can't live stream from here with my, um, with my computer. I'm not real comfortable trying to do it. So hopefully, can you hear me now or no? Or am I still clipping? No good, good. It's not good, I don't even see anybody on there. Um, still, all right. No, it's good. All right. All right, maybe it's not my mic, maybe it's the computer, but I don't know, man. Uh, what is it? I don't <laughs> No. <laughs> Good. All right, cool. All right, yeah, man. Like I said, I was tr I'm just trying to do videos that uh, you guys will find interesting. You know what I mean? Case studies, things like that. Um, that's what I really try to do. You know what I mean? The stuff that I think is interesting. There's I see a lot of crap every day. I mean, I had a I had an intermittent in the shop uh, that was at three different shops the other day, and I was gonna film it, and I didn't even waste my time because 
it ended up it ended up being a, uh, a set of battery cables that were loose. They were left loose on the car, and it was at three shops that ch- sold them a body control module and some other stuff. And I mean, to me, it's just like you know, it might be the dead horse. You know what I mean? Posting stuff like that, it's just stupid. You know what I mean? So I didn't even bother. I just uh, deleted the video and I never you know never put it up. Um, yeah, it is hard to film when you have cars lined up. And, you know, guys seem to be, some of the guys get on me a little bit. They say like, oh, you know, what am I picking on other shops? I'm not, I'm not picking on anybody and I'm not trying to be a hero or anything like that, guys. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to show what is out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to show that these are the actual things in the real world that come into my shop and it's not, uh, you know, it's not made up. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's almost ridiculous when you, when you think about it, that, this, that a vehicle could be at three shops for an intermittent no start. And nobody checked the battery cables on it. You know what I mean? So it's, I just, when I, but when I post something like that, like I did the Buick, for some reason that video got a lot of hits, which I was surprised. The one where, uh, the one where I said the mechanic brought me a headache, right? That video got a, got a lot more hits than I would have expected, actually. And the thing that got me about it was that guy, you know, that guy works, he works on a lot of people's cars. You know what I mean? And, the thing that's funny is I actually have footage of that vehicle after it was returned to me about three weeks after I fixed it. It was brought back and it was, you know, I'll tell you guys on here. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I, I told, uh, he told me that the car is doing the same thing, which when it was in the shop, if you saw the video, it had a PO 171. It was running like complete crap and it had vacuum leaks due to bolts being loose on the throttle body and, and some other stuff. Right. So I fixed the car. I fixed what it was there for, but it had a blown out brake line, which he didn't want me to fix. I couldn't test drive the car. The only thing I could do was mess around with it in the bay. I told him, fix the brake line, bring it back to me if there's an issue. Well, when he brought the car back to me, uh, saying it's doing the same thing, he says, well, the check engine light's not on and it has no codes, but it's doing the same thing. So I said, leave it here and I'll drive it. I took it out for a ride and I got the, I actually have the footage. I never posted it on YouTube. I never put it up because I didn't want to hear people saying how I'm picking on people, but the funny thing is it had a broken, not a broken, it had a motor mount that had no bolts in it. Uh, that's what I found. When I hit the throttle, he said it was breaking up. It wasn't breaking up. The engine was jumping out of the car. So I went under there and I put two nuts on the mounts and tightened them down. And then I drove it and I felt something else was wrong with the car with it shifting. And I found a, um, I found the wiring harness was damaged on the, for the trans due to the mount being broke. So I repaired the harness and, you know, gave it back to him. And, um, you know, he has since sent, I think, one or two other vehicles down to me via the customer, though, not through him. So uh, I guess he's happy with the work. But, you know, I, I didn't post the uh, I didn't post it, you know, on YouTube. Like I said, the video that I that I had uh, taken of it because it was just what's the sense I'm beating the dead horse. You know what I mean? Uh, the motor, the and, and for the record, the um, the brake line that was blown, I would have fixed. You know, I would have ran a new line, right? Made my own line and new fittings and all that stuff. And the fix that they did on it was to put was to cut the line and put a compression fitting in between, which is not even legal, uh, legitimately not even legal. So, uh, you know, it's it's just like I said, man. I get picked on though for you know, or I get uh, I get crap from guys for uh, posting stuff like that. They're saying I'm picking on shops and I'm you know, whatever. I'm not picking on anybody, but don't do crap work because you know you're getting paid for it. Um, yeah, the truth hurts, man. You ain't kidding. I am in New Jersey. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did somebody ask? What's, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me see if I can scroll. Uh, where am I from? I'm in, unfortunately, I'm from New Jersey, man. I'm in the armpit of the universe. I'm in, I'm in New Jersey. It's, it's a fantastic place to not be. Um, we're supposed to be getting hit with the storm, Bill. Yeah, they, they said Monday, I think, uh, Sunday, actually, tomorrow into Monday, we're supposed to get cracked with that thing. Um, Smoking is smoking. <laughs> yeah, but bro, see that's the see that's the thing though, man. I Ryan, you're right. Like, if you have a, I mean, I, look, man, I've been doing this work for 25 years. Okay, I'm not perfect. I I make mistakes. Uh, I you know I miss stuff. I mean, everybody does. It's just it, nobody's perfect. My thing is though, if you have a car that comes in for a no start, intermittent no start, and you are selling the guy a body control module, a hundred and eighty dollar key. A reprogramming on the PCM and then telling him that you don't know what's wrong with it. It's got to be something else, but you don't know what it is. 
it ends up at my place and I start to diagnose the car and I find two battery cables, two of them, both of them, falling off of the battery. And I mean falling off the battery. They were completely loose. So how do you not see that? That's that's the point that I try to make. But again, it's, you know, it, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, don't, I really don't. Um, but guys yell at me for it. They, you know, they get on here and curse me out. You don't see a lot of the comments. I delete them. Uh, I, I cut them off the page because I'm not going to, I'm not on here for, I, I'm not doing this channel so that I can have like all kinds of stupid things where guys are going to curse me out and talk dumb shit to me. You know what I mean? I'm not, not going to do that. Um, <laughs> what's up, man? But, uh, you know, use compression fittings on your own car. Yeah, man, compression compression fittings for brake lines are absolutely not the right way to do things. They're they're dangerous. They're not designed for that you know for that kind of repair. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't do it on a customer's car. I wouldn't do it on my own car because of the fact that I know that it can fail. Um, and I have seen it done a million times. I get it. I mean, yes, they can work. They could be fine. It's not the right way to do it, and I won't do that on a customer's vehicle. Uh, that's why this guy wanted me to, he wanted it done cheap because he broke it, you know what I mean? And he didn't want to eat it for the customer. So, I mean, that's on him. I didn't break it. Uh, let him do what he wants, but you know, can't, I can't do anything with that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it the wrong way to appease somebody. <clears throat> yeah. Flare connections only. Exactly. And what I, what I do guys is, yeah, I don't know if any of you guys are not familiar with this. I'll, I'll give you a tip. I have, years ago, I ran into a company, I uh, came across a company called SUR&R, and I talked about them a little bit, and yeah, sorry, Matthew, yeah, the winner was announced, his name is Thomas Joy, yes, um, there's, a, there's a company called SUR&R, they make some of the best products that you will ever come across in the industry, and that is bar none, okay, brake repair, or AC repair, um, uh, transmission, uh, a whole bunch of stuff, okay, if you go on their website or you go check online on eBay or whatever, they're all over the place. They're incredible. What I do is I use their brake line. Uh, it's illegal in New Jersey. Yes, it is illegal in New Jersey. Absolutely. Um, I make a new brake line. I don't care. I cut the line. Whatever I got to do, I take it out, the whole thing, front to back, you know, wherever it is. I make my line out of the SUR&R, uh, which is copper nickel. Um, <clears throat> and... I pronounce your name. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, and I, what I do is I run the whole new line with new fittings on it. I flare. You can flare them things with like butter. You can bend them with your fingers. They they work fantastic. We just made a. Uh, we just made actually all the brake lines on the Chevelle are all brand new, made out of SUR and our line. And my buddy had never used them before, and he was just ecstatic. He's he's getting he's bringing benders with him, and you know, I brought my bender. I was like, you don't need that. And he's like, yeah. He's like, got to bend the lines and curl them. I said, all right. And he started playing around with them. And he was like, oh, my God. He's like, I, you know, these things are incredible. Those lines are fantastic. You have, you, you, you cannot beat them. I've never had one fail in all the years I've been using them. I've never had a leak. I've never had a comeback. Um, it takes you less time to pull one of the, to make one of those lines front to back than it does to flare, uh, not flare, to, to try to play around with a steel line and a compression fitting. You could, I could do it in less time. So, uh yeah, there. Yeah, so you, some of you guys are familiar with the uh, with the SUR and R stuff, I guess, right? <clears throat> right. It bends super easy, and it's incredibly easy to flare. Absolutely. Uh, the proper way better than factory bought. The factory way better than. I don't. I don't know. Are you saying the factory lines are better than the copper, or? I think I missed that. I think I missed something there. I'm sorry. Um, Regardless, though, man, I've been using those lines for a long time. I've never had an issue with them. So if uh, if any of you guys are not familiar, try them out. You'll be very, very happy with them. Uh, not, the nickel copper, I think that's pretty much the same. I, I don't know, uh, honestly, if that's the same or not. I, I haven't used the stuff from AutoZone, to be honest with you. Uh An inline trans filter would never hurt anything, man. Absolutely, the copper is yeah, the copper is better. Absolutely, the copper is far better, in my opinion, than the um, than any of the you know standard stuff you're gonna go buy at the dealer. And, you know, not too long ago we had a we had a car in that uh, we called the dealer for, and the lines you had to buy as a whole set. Um, 
it was uh what the hell was it it was a uh it was a dodge it was a dodge but it was air conditioned <clears throat> it was air conditioned lines i'm sorry it wasn't brake lines you had by the set there were four lines for the heat and the ec and uh those lines were some outrageous i mean insane amount of money this is where see like these guys that say like uh, we all mechanics are thieves we try to take the customer's money check this out that line that set of lines for that truck paid like seven hours or eight hours to install first of all second of all the lines were like a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars from the dealer so i told the customer i could repair the broken line it had a rub through on the ac line going to the back and i said i can repair the line it'll cost you i forget i, I honestly forget what it cost it was like 250 or something like that and i could repair it and i guarantee it will not fail so i used su r&r's repair kit and I fixed the line, and there was absolutely no issues with the truck after that. So, those their their repair stuff is, is spot on, guys. If you need something from, if you do AC work or if you do you know any of that stuff, buy from S U R and R. And I'm I'm in no way affiliated with these guys. I'm just a big fan of them. Uh, I started. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think the first thing that I ever bought from them was a fuel pressure analyzer. Um, the, the analyzer was the same thing. Like, if you guys are familiar, like Cody, you've seen Cody's channel. And on my channel, we've used the Mighty Vac uh, fuel pressure, you know, fuel system analyzer. It reads pressure and it also reads volume. Okay. So you can see the fuel inside of the cell. Uh, you can get an idea if the fuel is cavitating. The, 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 that is the best system you can use for testing fuel systems. All right. Uh, it's expensive. I get. Well, I don't know. Really, not not expensive compared to like a good fuel system. Te you know, fuel pressure test kit. Uh, it's about six hundred bucks, I guess. SUR and R had one out, and it was like three hundred dollars. And I bought it the first. I mean, the first week it was out, I bought it. Uh, they have since discontinued it. Something to do with the Mighty Vac, and they had some sort of a problem or whatever, uh, legal crap. But. Their their pressure their pressure system was the same thing as the Mighty Vac. It was a little bit of a smaller package. I do have one. Uh, I don't think I have it here, but I, I do have one. Uh, the video that I showed with the Escalade with the fuel system, not Escalade. What the hell was that a thing? I forget. Avalanche with the fuel system. I show it in that video if you guys want to see it. Um, but SURR by far has the best repair stuff that I've ever used. It's it's made by technicians for technicians. It's great uh has a poster yes you know what yeah you're absolutely right uh they do they have a poster with all of the part numbers you're absolutely right uh very very good stuff <laughs> if they tell her what i already know oh god <laughs> that's great well whatever works for you right fuel pressure adapter kit yeah they have an adapter kit right um but they discontinued the the actual fuel pressure analyzer kit, it uh, it's no longer available. You could maybe find one used on eBay here and there. That's where I actually got my the last one I bought. Uh, I think I got it for like 250 275 something like that. But it was like brand new. I don't think it was actually ever used, so well worth the money. Uh, I just wanted to have it because I have the entire kit minus the gauge. The gauge busted on me. Uh, so I, you know, I not no failure of its own. It was dropped, so... That was uh, that was my own stupidity, but I wanted to have that kit, so I really like it. And I have the Mighty Vac, so those are the two fuel pressure you know kits that I use, and I have no issues with them. Um, yes, yeah, they make a good. Uh, they make it well. You're talking about the brake line bender. If so, that's the only thing about that's the only tool that I've ever used from them that failed on me. Actually, the brake bender is nice. I like the design of it, but the C clips on the C clips that hold the wheels on it don't going deep enough and they fall they actually have a tendency to fall out so i wasn't too thrilled with that but aside from that is what it is. um what is that right there oh, okay you have yeah man see that's right that's uh yeah most of the guys that i know that have used the su r and r stuff feel the same way i do about it they never go back to a steel brake line I mean, I remember the days of bending those lines and trying to get a tight bend and trying. I mean, they always came out like crap. They were, you know, they took forever to try to get them right. Um, you know, headphones. I missed something. That was over my head, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Hey, man, have a good, have a good weekend.
Guys, you know what? Uh, it's 9.30. I actually just got in, and I am exhausted. Uh, I'm going to get off here now. I uh, hope that uh, Thomas Joy gets in touch. And if he does not, um, and Big Root, actually the winner of the T-shirt, if they don't get in touch, um, I guess within a week or so, I'm going to wait. I'm going to give them some time. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to just pick a different winner. All right. We'll see what happens, guys. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. Okay. See you.